Monday, May the 17th. Uh, it's uh, 8.40 in the morning. I'm heading to Pinehurst or Southern Pine, something Pine. Fancy area. Got two jobs to do out that way. Meet Brian at about 12. Alright, so today I am thankful for my health. Number one, I'm thankful for my health. Saw something on Facebook this morning. Nicole Vigilio has a uh, blood infection. And her daughter, you know, asked her on the phone if she was dying. And, you know, that got to be hard, man. Like, I can't even imagine. I mean, I thought I was dying, and, you know, that one time when I did think, minus the suicides, you know, that one time I really did think that I was dying when I was completely out of my mind and just gone mentally. I just wasn't here anymore. Um, you know, I was completely okay with it. I actually looked forward to it. I really did. And it's crazy. The only thing in my mind was give me some damn medication so I can, uh, you know, die in peace and go out the way I freaking want to. And it was... It was so freaking crazy, like, I don't... Yeah. But anyway, at that time, you know, I was... I was looking forward to it. And, you know, now I'm not. I mean, yes, I, I'm looking forward to it, you know, to for the good reasons. But, you know, I'm not... That's not, like, the only thing on my mind. And I'm not dreading life anymore. Also thankful for all my blessings. I am a very, very blessed person. No matter how many times I have complained and you know bitched about things not being right, I am a very, very blessed man. I have my, my mother. I have a beautiful house. I have. My sister, I have, you know, the stuff that I take for granted every single day, and which is so easy to take for granted, I have it, and other people don't. You know, some people, you know, like, crave it, and, you know, would love to be in the position I'm in, and here I am sometimes taking it for granted, and complaining because my life isn't where I particularly want it. My life is never going to be where I want it. Like, I'm always going to want more. Like, the, the, the human nature. We're always going to want more. Like, no matter how much success or whatever I get, I'm still always going to want more. And I need to be fulfilled inside. Okay, I hope that's what I'm working towards and what I'm, where I'm going. I hope I'm closer than I was. And lastly, I'm thankful for my reminders. The reminders that I get that, I, one, I am blessed. Two, that I have come very far away from where I was. That my... The reminder that, you know, no matter, no matter what, God's got me here. And I... Um... I'm taken care of and I don't have to worry about things. You know, he, uh, he's got it. He's got me. So yeah, I'm just uh, thinking a lot about that today. This morning. God, I really do thank you for all the wonderful blessings you have given me. I do know that I'm blessed. Oh, shit. And I do know that you love me and you are here with me. And 
you know, that you would take care of me. And I am so, so thankful for that, Lord. And I pray, God, that, you know, you continue to help me and bring me further. God, please, I pray that you Josh Colbert stopped by yesterday and uh, you know he was the one that reminded me of how blessed I am and you know how much I actually do have and all of that I mean everything he actually put a few things in perspective for me and, and helped me out and I, I hope he knows you know I gotta tell him that he did but you know I, I pray that uh, God, please help him. Please. That man is really, really hurt. And that man really wants to see his son. And he... He got a raw deal. He really did. And, you know, for whatever my brother's part was in it, I mean, I know that he said him and Kevin squashed it, but... And took care of it together and you know I mean I, I know my brother isn't that stupid you know to leave a, a meth lab underneath somebody's porch so in that respect you know I do think that it was something that was planned or at least talked about and he was set up I mean yeah cooking dope in a house with a child is not right okay there's no two ways about it that, at all, okay? I'm not justifying that at all. But the man did not know that there was dope being cooked in his house. So, in that respect, the man did not need to lose his child, okay? He did. That's just point blank period. He did not deserve to lose his child. So, God, I please, please help him. Because he is a good guy. I know he's a good guy. And he's got a great, great heart. And he really would do anything to help anybody. Just like me. And, you know, he has made his fair share of mistakes. But who hasn't? And, uh, you know, I, I, I pray that you bless him as you see fit. proud of him too. He seemed to be doing really good. He wasn't skin and bones. He, he had a, a keg on him. I mean, yeah, he's drinking a lot, but, you know, he, he, he didn't look strong out, but he did show me a tattoo when we lifted up his arm. I, I think I saw a track mark, a bruise, but, you know, God, I pray that you help him, please. And uh, you pull him through whatever, whatever he is going through, and whatever hurt and pain that man has, please see him through it. And if there's anything that I can do to help him, please, one, let me know, and two, put me in the position to do so. Um, I could just see the pain in his face. And he was hard, trying hard to hold back some tears. Like, I know he was. And then he was talking about Terry, too. And, you know, Terry had a double brain aneurysm. And, you know, it just, it just reminded me again that, you know, life is short. And you never know what can happen. And uh, another reason I want to stay sober. I don't know what that man did. I don't know what kind of dope he did or whatever the situation was, is he got some bad dope or he did too much or he was withdrawing. You know, one of them, I'm sure, played a major part in it. But, God, I'm glad that you helped him through it. And I'm glad that he is getting another chance at life. And I just hope, God, that you, uh, I 
pray that you enter his life too. And, you know, help him. He's missing a part of his skull. So, I mean, he, the man needs help.
pray that you watch over and bless all those people and their families that I covered. And uh, please continue to guide my family and help us through whatever struggles we are going through. I hope that I did a good job of trusting you and waiting on you. I'm sorry for my attitude this week and this weekend and, you know, how I went about certain things. Honestly, I was just really tired. That's really what it was. And I thank the Lord so much for everything else that you have done and that you continue to do. to give me my mind, my body, and my soul today, and I ask that you please fill me with your Holy Spirit, and if I can, be the light in somebody's life, if it is your will. Lord, please help me get into the best mental, physical, and spiritual shape of my life. I do want to know you on a personal level.